Well, hello. We are going to do a cheese ball video. I haven't done a video in a while. Because I'm lazy. And I'm busy. And I'm doing shit. Anyways, welcome to the shop. My makeshift shop that I have right now. List of all the crap I'm trying to get done on the Regal, the main Regal. Got the old LS3 crank sitting there. What else? Got the old fuel pump out there the other day. Still a really good fuel pump, but going bigger. So, need bigger stuff. The old battery charging and the old uh, organized goings-ons. <laughs> The rest of a fucking G-body pile of parts. I don't usually show around my mess of crap, but it's G-body hoarding tires and tires and blah, 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 blah. Anyways, let's go check out some G-bodies. Check it out. We got the old girl getting a bit of progress. Had buddy Matt there. Mr. Crusto helped me throw the engine in it last Friday. Then last night I plumbed the fuel. I didn't have to do return lines or I didn't have to do this line. All I had to do is put the new filter in because it was already dash 10 so that was good i got the holly vr1 pump in there for now it's just loosely in there one bolt it's not complete i need some different angle fittings because the holly post filter is double the length it changes a little bit of the geometry of the fuel lines and shit but that's what's going on with the old girl I guess I could give give you a sneak peek. By you, I mean my five loyal uh, subscriber followers. One of which is my cousin Jonathan. Hi, Jonathan. What's up, man? Miss you guys. Hope to see you guys sometime when all this shit blows over. It feels blown over to me already, but... Whatever. Ooh, shiny things. Can't give you guys too much, but there's my fuel line plumbed into the fuel rail and got that one done on the return side. So still lots of work to do. All the wiring and such things, but sneak peek on the old girl got the uh the old 292 in there found that off an old chevy i don't know i had to have it hoping to get a shop built so i can stop working on chunks of plywood with my car jacked in the air on rocks because it sucks <clears throat> All right, the old 83 brown town just sitting, sitting, uh, housing mice, the 83 Calais, just sitting, staying clean. That's a really clean interior. That's a cool car. The Calais are good. You got the good stuff. Yes, I need to put the transmission back in this thing for the old lady. We're trying to figure out some shift linkage stuff with the body lift and suspension lift. What the hell do you see there? A license plate. This thing is on the road now. First time in 22 years. 
for y'all Tina T. I've been driving this car to work the odd day, whatever. Fun, fun to drive. Put the, uh, put the F41 sway bars in it, front and rear. They were actually on that frame that I got and put that uh, Junker Blue Malibu body on. It had all F41 uh, sway bars, so. Upgrade to the T-Top Cuddy. Then we got the brown, no, we got the Gold Fever 80 Malibu. I'll be putting a video out on this maybe before this video or at the same time. What is it? May. I don't know what day it is. It's Saturday in May. I think we'll go up there, but why don't we drive the old T top? Oh, okay. Coming? Oh shit, it's hot in here. Fixed all the little power switches and pulled the door panels up, lubed up the uh, tracks for all the windows and shit. Not a perfect starter. I think something's a little messed up with the choke, but whatever. She's a driver. Take the long way. Take the old Hobbit trail. I don't think we'll make it. Oh, maxed out power steering. Stuck in the mud. Still a bit cold. Field bomber. Watch out, dog. Check out the vintage ski boat. She's a sport. Sport model. Super sport. <laughs> oh, we're gonna get stuck in the grass? Nope. This car runs fucking awesome. See, it sounds like the choke's working now. She's idled right down. Oh. Don't get the full visual with the tarps, but you kind of get the picture of what's going on here. Of your uh, classic G body hoarding. 86 Cutlass. Fairly rusted body, absolutely beautiful, dark burgundy interior. This is actually a 85 Regal with a, uh, looks like 83 style grille, so possibly 83. Old front clip, although that is not an 83 style hood ornament. As far as I know, oh, that's 84 and up. But yeah. Clip was cheap, it came up, so, and this car didn't have a front clip on it. This Regal's actually not as bad as it kind of looks. Yes, there's filler and a bit of rust, but 
it's not that bad. This was the one that had hit a deer. It's in one of my old, old videos. But, well, sitting on the 84 Buick Regal four-door frame, which was just money. Got full set of the uh, Buick rims. The 86, it's pretty much just a parts car. I mean, it's from Alberta. I'm not going to do the whole inspection to, you know, things rusted out. Pretty sure the frame's just toast in it, too. Yeah, it's... Oh, yeah. I don't even remember because I do videos on the car and then they just come up here to their home. Sport model, baby. 50 horsepower. Got this boat trailer and that boat for free, so probably should have said no because I'm not doing anything with them. But. And we got the Mob Malibu 04. I found a piece of paperwork in this car and I tried to hunt down that original owner just to get this thing in my name. But here it is sitting as a parts rig. That's nasty. And we got the old turbo 82 sport coupe. Only what, 2022 of these built in 82? So it's of the rarest of production turbo regals, I believe, in the, in 82 anyways. But rough it is, yes. But that doesn't matter. I got a set of tail lights for it somewhere we got the 84 cutlass brome watch out dog got the sonoma rallies on it those 15s or 14s they are 14s and then there's a really good running 305 in this but no trans or nothing then we got the 85, another 85 Regal with obviously the uh, 81 to 83 style front clip and front header panel and grill and all that. Those are the honeycomb wheels off the old Grand Prix I had. I must have deleted the video of that car because I can't find it. 85 Regal Limited, two-tone gray. The uh, great weight reduction bumper option. Good set of taillights. Good parts car. The interior on this is uh, a nice gray. We've got the ET4 Calais dual exhaust sunroof car. I love this car, but it runs like shit. I need to put some time in it. Maybe play around but it does run and drive it's got the bucket well the, the classic Calais it's got all the Calais stuff so pretty good pretty good and power sunroof that works which is pretty cool and another one of my Rare and nobody cares car is this 82 T-top Regal. It's actually Somerset uh, edition. A set of 15 inch, 15 inch rallies on there. Usually you don't get them in 15, they're probably older or something, but not original to the car, obviously. They came with the turbo Buick V6 out of Vanderhoof, but yeah, cool car. Somerset edition, 
T-top car, like the poster child for Buick in 82, was this car. I love that it still has the, uh, the dealership thing on there, out of Calgary. Kind of cool. Also, the weight reduction bumper. I should seriously cut this thing off. It's wrecking the filler. Limited. Our Limitee. This is a Limitee edition, not a Limited. Limitee. Just beat like a freaking. Yeah, just beat. Pride open everywhere. Like, is this car stolen? <laughs> just fucking broke it into in every point possible, I swear to God. Bought this off Mel Van Stone in somewhere by Red Deer. I can't even remember. It was way out in the farmer range roads. Oh. Whatever. And we got the old Jan Boss 84 Regal. Jan Boss is a guy, was a guy in Vernon with a massive collect, an old tow truck, tow yard guy. And there was this yard I used to always look, at, look in there and it's just piles of cars in there. Cars, everything. I jumped the fence the one day and hiked through there. And the one day I was driving by and he was actually there and the gate was open. So I pulled in there. And once he got over the fact that I had jumped the fence and I wasn't actually uh, stealing parts or anything, I was just obsessed with cars and wanted to look. We became a little bit of friends and I'd go there every once in a while and shoot the shit and see what he's working on collecting he had this car sitting in there and i bought it it's got buckets kind of a weird option car it's base ish regal came with those hubcaps and it's got uh bucket seat console no tilt steering no fancy options but yeah kind of a cool story behind it and it's also got the dealership thing Jacobson vehicle, it's GM or whatever, Kelowna, BC. Good set of taillights in this thing too. And a tow hitch, ready for drag week. Anyways, anyways, not pulling the tarps off so you don't get to see inside, which you see in most of these cars anyways. I haven't done individual videos on a few of them. A few of them are just piled into a video, but... Hey. Hey, get out of the mud. Get out of there. Come on, that's gross. Beautiful up here today. No, I do not own all that farmland. It is the neighbors. I strictly farm G bodies only. And I try to line them up perfectly as to not lower the neighbor's property value. <laughs> yeah, the house is for sale too, by the way. Beautiful view of uh, these nice G bodies. <laughs> Oh, please don't hate me, neighbors. I promise I'm going to do something one day. <laughs> Once the shop's built. Anyways, 20 minutes. Holy shit. That's a long, long video. For just booting around the yard. Oh. <sighs> Fucking eggs, bacon. <laughs>